welcome to Surya's Life Science. Today in this video lecture, we are going to see how to easily memorize Krebs cycle. So let's get into the video. Before moving to the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button for instant video updates. So let's start. First of all, what is Krebs cycle? Krebs cycle is a sequence of reactions by which most living cells generate energy during the process of aerobic respiration. It takes place in the mitochondria using up oxygen and producing carbon dioxide and water as a waste product and ADP is converted to energy rich ATP in this mechanism of Krebs cycle. So that's the basic information about Krebs cycle. In this video we are not going to discuss a lot about the enzymatic reaction, the deep reaction present in between the two substrate molecules of the Krebs cycle. We are going to see only how to easily memorize the names of the substrate and enzymes present in the Krebs cycle with the help of mnemonics and tricks. So let's start. First let me start with the mnemonic to memorize the names of substrate the mnemonic moves like this. Oliver, a CIA from Kentucky State, is experienced in forensic science and murders. If you see this mnemonic, the letter O of the word Oliver stands for oxaloacetate and the letter C of CIA stands for citrate. The letter I of CIA abbreviation stands for isocitrate and the letter A of CIA stands for alpha and the letter K of Kentucky stands for ketoglutarate. So for other substrate molecules we are using only one alphabet but for alpha ketoglutarate we are using two alphabets that is A and K. A from CIA and K from Kentucky and the letter S of state represents succinyl CoA and succinate. The letter F of forensic science represent fumarate and the letter M of murders represents malate. So by memorizing this mnemonic with the help of these images with better picturization you can easily memorize all the substrate names of the Krebs cycle process easily. So now we are clear how to easily memorize the substrate names of Krebs cycle. Now let us discuss how to easily memorize and understand the enzyme names of Krebs cycle process. If you see except few enzyme names in this Krebs cycle process other enzyme names can be easily understood and memorized with the help of some keywords. So let me explain how it can be done. For example if you take citrate synthase. So the enzyme name itself says that there is a synthesis of citrate that is the product molecule is citrate and if you take the enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase as an example this enzyme is called as isocitrate dehydrogenase because of the involvement of the cofactor nicotinamide dinucleotide. Here NAD is converted to NADH that is it is reduced. So whenever a reaction involves NAD or NADH, the keyword dehydrogenase will be present in the enzyme name catalyzing that reaction. The same applies for alpha ketoglutarate and also for succinate dehydrogenase. The prefix of these keywords will be mostly the substrate names. And if you see in case of this enzyme fumarase, it is converting fumarate to malate. So the enzyme name is fumarase. It, it is also easy to remember. And the same condition of isocitrate dehydrogenase applies for malate dehydrogenase also. Malate is the substrate name and dehydrogenase keyword says that NAD is involved in the reaction. So except aconitase, all these enzymes can be easily remembered. Since aconitase is only difficult to remember, it is becoming an odd one and you can easily remember that also. So on the whole now we are clear how to memorize the enzyme names along with the substrate names. So whenever you write the Krebs cycle in the examination you first write all the substrate names with the arrow diagram then you fill up the cofactors and enzyme names. Then it will be very easy for you 
to get I to marks in examination.